and our national security. We have joining us live this Dixon Osaji, security expert. Good to have you, Dixon. Thank you, Amaka, for having me. Now, the president said uh, the security chiefs are doing their best. Do you agree with that statement? Oh, sure, uh, they are doing their best, and that's why they are there in the ends of powers, because uh, we cannot say they are not doing their best, uh, but their best is not good enough, you know. Uh, that was a much motivational statement from the president to the service chief, because he would definitely not tell them that they are not doing their best. So the president telling them they are doing their best uh, is uh, some of a systematic assist, uh, statement in order to encourage them so that they can do more better in the fight against insurgency. Mm -hmm. I mean, security continues to be a subject of conversation in this country. <coughs> Recently, the uh, governor of Borne State was attacked, and that shows how severe the security situation is. Um, do you know, I mean, it's not the first time that we've seen things like this happening. The question would be, what strategies can be used now? Oh, well, the uh, attack on the governor's convoy is a disastrous situation, and that tells you that nobody is safe in Nigeria. And there is not a situation where, where in which uh, the Nigerian government or the state government will sweep under the carpet. That is not what you sweep under the carpet, because the governor uh, was likely to be killed. We saw a live uh, bullet flying all over, and uh, the rescue mission from the governor's team, I think they are not professional enough. That is not how to evacuate uh, a, a, a VIP during an... Uh, incident procedures, you know, uh, but they did their best to evacuate the uh, uh, governor. And I think this calls for a consistent training and rehearsal on how to evacuate uh, a VIPs or very, very important personalities in the case of danger. But what went wrong in this uh, governor's aspect was that uh, there was no uh, uh, clearance uh, operations, you know. Uh, before a governor will move from one place to another in a given situation like Madiguri, that is the Northeast. I think uh, they would have carried out a clearance operation uh, to ensure that there are no uh, criminal elements on the highway. But it happens, and the military claim they've clear, uh, cleared out uh, the criminal elements. But uh, the governor's forum, the state, uh, the, the governors of the governor's forum, the chairman of the governor's forum, uh, if I fire me, has uh, come out to condemn the attack, and many other governors has come back. And this let, should let them know that every Nigerian is... Uh, is, uh, is I'm afraid we're having a bit of challenge with your connection there. Can you hear me? Sure, I can hear you. Okay, now let's, the National Security Advisor also said that the whole security architecture will be overhauled. I mean, what does this mean, if I may ask you in clear terms? Okay, what he's trying to say is that uh, they are going to revamp it, you know, uh, uh, take away the existing uh, process and procedures and bring in new processes and procedures so that they will be able to uh, carry out an effective uh, security applications here in our state, given Nigeria. Uh, but overhauling the national security architecture is not a problem, you know, and that will not solve these issues. It's not going to solve the issues. What they need to also do is to look into sociological factors that precipitate the uh, occasion of uh, commission of crimes, uh, because really the state of Nigeria is going through a very high speed of insecurity, and it's not something you are going to tell me that you want to overhaul the national security architecture. It's not about doing that. It's all about putting things in place. Because one of the greatest threats uh, Amaka, to any democratic system of government is the security agency. And the secondary threat is the uh, citizens. So all these criminal activities taking place in Nigeria is not a major threat to our national security. The major threat in any democratic setup is the security agency doing the right thing at the right time and ensuring that they are keeping up to the task. And that is why we have the administration of criminal justice, the Nigerian police, the army, at uh, the uh, court and the prison. So these guys are supposed to, you know, ensure that punishment uh, uh, are, are being melted out to people who commit crime. Because we've seen a situation by our leaders commit crime, and uh, when they come under interrogation, they will start uh, fainting up and down. Uh, that, that is not acceptable, you know, when you're uh, eating beyond, our money, uh, diverting. Okay, be, beyond replacing the service chief, uh, Osaji, what, what should the federal government be looking at, at concerning improving our security situation generally? <clears throat> okay, Amaka, we have uh, four strategies of planning. Uh, from the strategic point of view, view comes down to the operational and tactical, tactical part of the point of view. Uh, but for now, what they need to do is to uh, you know migrate from their reactive system of uh, operations. You know because. It, 
Again. What they need to also do is to ensure that they are proactive and preactive so that they'll be able to predict the future and create the future. If they don't do that, we will keep on responding to incidents as it comes. That's not the best form of security. Security is for you to go before they lost.